The Australian ecosystem is extremely fragile, so introduced species can have a major impact on our native wildlife. Introduced species can be diseases, fungi, parasites, plants or animals. Australia's biggest threat species are red foxes, feral deer, dromedary camels, feral cats, cane toads, European rabbits and feral pigs. Introduced animals affect species via predation, competition for resources and habitat loss. One of Australia's biggest threats is the red fox. Red foxes were introduced in 1855 for recreational hunting but spread quickly and established wild populations all throughout mainland Australia. Red foxes are a key natural threat to vulnerable Australian species such as the numbat, rock wallaby and tamar wallaby. The population of the woylie has decreased by 99% following the introduction of red foxes in 1855. Recent illegal introduction of red foxes to Tasmania poses a threat to their unique fauna such as the quolls, bandicoots, betong and padamelons as their presence could have the same effect as it has on the mainland. Foxes also play a role in the spreading of introduced plant species and competition from these plants could damage Tasmanian flora as it has on the mainland. Scientists have studied the effects of red foxes as an introduced species, as well as their behaviour, diet, intelligence, trap avoidance, and the effectiveness of current management systems. Current management plans include a government-issued bounty system, where hunters are paid per fox killed, den destruction, trapping and fencing, fumigation, and chemical reproductive control. One of the most effective management strategies of fox populations is poison baiting with the neurotoxin 1080. The 1080 baits are effective as they are not identified by the fox as poison and are therefore consumed. As 1080 poison occurs naturally, native mammals are resistant to it, whereas introduced species such as the fox are not. This reduces collateral damage to any Australian native species. 1080 baiting reduces fox lifespan by 700% and therefore reduces their population and density in baited areas. This reduces the rate of predation of native species, thus increasing sighting rates. Unfortunately, as fox populations in an area decrease, other feral animals take their place. The 1080 bait has also been known to contaminate waterways in some areas. Future management must therefore focus on controlling all introduced predator species in order to be as effective as possible. Oh my god!